One of the most memorable events in the history of Rwanda is that of the Rwandan genocide, which occurred in 1994. During this time, the majority Hutu, who accounted for over 85% of the population, led an onslaught on the Tutsi minority ethnic group. According to sources, more than 800,000 Tutsi lives were lost. To put this in perspective, over 80% of Tutsis in Rwanda lost their lives in less than 100 days of civil war. The killings were barbaric. Mercenaries used weapons as crude as machetes, attacked entire villages and communities of Tutsis, and killed them all, men, women, and children alike. Hutu mercenaries searched for the Tutsis, who were either in the process of fleeing the country to neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo, or were hiding in villages, schools, even churches, and killed them. In the heat of the conflict, war crimes were committed, including acts like sexual violence. These incidents sent shockwaves throughout the world. The front page of major newspapers bore the headlines. How could this happen for over 100 days while the rest of the world stood and watched from a distance? A truly dark time in the history of this nation. Three decades later, and Rwanda has grown from the ashes. Today, Rwanda is considered an icon of growth, sustainability and development throughout Africa, and Rwanda is considered to be one of the fastest growing economies in the entire world. So, what other interesting facts does this country hold? Some of the facts you'll see here will open your eyes to just how amazing and beautiful this country is. Some of the facts are unique just to Rwanda and the entire world. Without wasting time, let's get right into it. Twenty, Rwanda is one of the safest countries in the world. Rwanda is listed as the sixth safest country in the world and the safest country in Africa, according to statistics from the World Economic Forum. In a survey, over 87% or Rwandans said they feel safe and are confident in the security organs of the country. Rwanda's ranking has greatly improved, even ranking above safe nations like New Zealand and Austria. Rwanda is really going extra miles to make her citizens and visitors feel safe. 19. Rwanda Sponsored Arsenal Here's one fun fact for the football lovers. I believe there was a time when you could see Visit Arguande on the arm of the jerseys of Arsenal Football Club. Yes, Rwanda sponsored Arsenal. Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, is a big fan of Arsenal and insisted on sponsoring the club. In 2018, Rwanda paid over £30 million to the said club in a sponsorship deal. Hence, the printing of Visit Rwanda on the jersey. President Paul Kagame believed that the investment would pay off by increasing revenue from tourism in the country. Rwanda also signed a similar three-year sponsorship deal with French giants Paris Saint-Germain in 2019. 18. Home to Endangered Species Rwanda is home to endangered species like the mountain gorilla. The gorilla was officially added to the list of endangered species in 2018. According to statistics, only 1,063 of these gorillas still exist in the wild. These gorillas are found in a region which cuts through Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Uganda. These gorillas have been severely poached in recent times. Rwanda, in collaboration with her neighbors, have created a national park in the middle of the forest for the conservation of these gorillas. Other endangered species in Rwanda include Rwanda river frog, leopards, eastern gorilla, and the black rhinoceros. 17. C02 Emissions When it comes to climate matters and CO2 emission, Rwanda has some of the lowest emissions. Some experts rank Kigali, the capital of Rwanda, as Africa's cleanest and greenest city. When it comes to CO2 emissions, Rwanda is ranked the sixth lowest when measured by metric tons per capita according to the World Bank World Development Indicators. All of this as a result of laws, policies, and practices like the Umiganda, which was introduced by the Rwandan government over the past decade, and the unending cooperation of the Rwandan people. Rwanda is making the difference when it comes to sustainable development. 16. Population Density 
Population density is a term used to describe the concentration of population in a specific geographic location. Rwanda is Africa's second most densely populated country after the Mauritius Islands, and it is considered as Africa's most populated mainland country when you consider just mainland countries. Rwanda is densely populated, with a population density of about 440 people per square kilometer. This is so due to their relatively small size and large population. During the period of the genocide and the next five years which followed, the population of Rwanda witnessed a decline obviously due to the genocide and the civil war. But ever since, the population of Rwanda has been witnessing a steady increase of about 2.6% per annum. With such growth, forecast shows that Rwanda will become even more densely populated. 15. The Flag of Rwanda The flag of Rwanda is horizontally striped blue, yellow, and green with a yellow sun, which has 24 rays located at the upper right corner of the flag in the blue color. The flag was adopted in 2001. The blue band symbolizes happiness and peace, the yellow band stands for economic development, the green band stands for the hope of prosperity, and the yellow sun represents enlightenment. The flag in itself stands for republican values such as national unity, heroism, and respect for work. The flag was adopted to avoid connotations to the genocide, which the authorities at that time believed the old flag represented. 14. Plastic bags are not allowed in Rwanda. Wow, so assuming you wanted to go on a vacation to Rwanda or even visit Rwanda as a tourist, a piece of advice I will give you is, make sure you don't carry any plastic bags. Rwanda has been plastic bag free since 2008. Rwanda has been able to completely eliminate plastic bags in the country and are making major strides towards sustainability. The Rwandan authorities take this very seriously, such that even if you were to arrive at an airport and your luggage was to contain any plastic bags, it will be confiscated by the airport authorities. Stores and shops in the city do not also give out plastic bags. What they use in Rwanda is biodegradable bags made out of cassava and banana leaves. This means Rwanda is making major strides in environmental protection and sustainability. This is a very good example for other nations around the world to copy. 13. Rwanda hosts a car-free day. Rwanda hosts a car-free day to promote exercise and healthy living. In Africa, Rwanda has been known for championing healthy lifestyle initiatives. A car-free day was introduced by the President Paul Kagame, and it aims to boost healthy living amongst the citizens. Rwandans are encouraged to exercise and avoid using cars on such days. The initiative is very popular, especially in cities like Kigali, the capital, but in recent times the government has been working to expand this initiative to other parts of the country. When the initiative was launched initially in 2016, the Ministry of Health would give out free testing for diseases like breast cancer, diabetes, and high blood pressure. This car-free day happens once every fortnight, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. The movement has been growing very popular, as the number of participants keep increasing. This is a win for the environment and for good health. 12. Rwanda is a paradise for bird watching. Rwanda has over 750 species of birds. It has the highest concentration of birds per square kilometer in Africa. You can view a wide variety of birds by covering a short distance in a short amount of time. While some birds can be seen easily, some will need some more searching before they can be found. The best time for bird viewing is between the months of December to February. During this period, there is a large migration of birds. There are many birding tours available in Rwanda, with tour guides. The top destination for bird watching in Rwanda include Kigali, the capital, and major national parks like Nyung and Akagera National Park. 11. Lake Kivu is the largest lake in Rwanda. Rwanda has over five lakes across the country, and Lake Kivu is the largest of them all. Lake Kivu has a length of 89 kilometers, width of 48 kilometers, an average depth of 240 kilometers, and covers a total surface area of 2,700 kilometers. 
Lake Kivu, just like Lake Neos from Cameroon, is known to undergo limic eruptions. Lake Kivu's gaseous chemical composition is made up of methane and carbon dioxide. The lake holds 65 cubic kilometers of methane and 256 cubic kilometers of carbon dioxide. If all this gas was to explode, it would completely wipe out all life along the shoreline. Currently, the Rwandan government are already working on degassing the lake. There are small islands spotted in the lake, and humans also depend on the lake for fisheries and seafood. Ten. Rwanda is a major producer of coffee and tea. The hilly and mountainous nature of Rwanda presents the perfect climate for the cultivation of tea and coffee. That is why it is no surprise that Rwanda is a major producer of tea and coffee. Rwanda produces about 22,000 metric tons of coffee annually, and the trade of tea and coffee contribute heavily to their foreign exchange earnings. The major markets for Rwandan coffee are the United States of America, Europe, and Asia. The Rwandan coffee is so world-renowned that it has won multiple international awards around the world. It is considered by some experts to be the world's best brewed coffee. In 2018, Rwandan coffee began trading on the e-commerce site Alibaba. 9. The official language of Rwanda is Kinyarwanda. Kinyarwanda is the official and first language of almost all Rwandans. It is used widely for conversations around the nation and for simple topics of discussions and messages. During the colonial era, under their colonial masters Belgium, French was the main language. After the genocide, English started becoming widespread and by 2008, English was made the main language while French was taught in school in primary levels. Swahili is also spoken in Rwanda and taught in school as well. 8. Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills. Rwanda is a landlocked country, surrounded by hilly and mountainous terrain all around. Rwanda is a hilly country, with some hills reaching altitudes of 1,700 meters. The relief of the county is divided into the central plateau, the lowlands of the east, the Bogorama Plains, and the Congo Nile Ridge. The central and western part of the nation is dominated by forests, savanna, plains, and swamps. There are 11 hills which surround the capital Kigali. 7. Rwanda introduced the use of drones in the health sector for the delivery of blood, especially for emergency cases. Now it's common to hear that companies like Amazon are planning to use drones delivery to their customers, but how Rwanda plans to put drones to use in their medical services is quite peculiar. The good thing about using drones for such work is the fact that drones are able to deliver blood to interior villages and the countryside and drones can also deliver this blood faster than cars will be able to. This is a good example other African countries should emulate. 6. Rwanda has five volcanoes. Rwanda has five volcanoes. Bahinga, Sabinho, Bisok, Mohabura, Karasimbi. The highest volcano is Mount Karasimbi, with an elevation of over 4,507 meters. This is very impressive for a small country like Rwanda. Some of these volcanic mountains extend right into neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo. 5. Good Internet Connection Rwanda, along with South Africa and Egypt, are ranked amongst the top three African countries with the best internet connection, broadband connectivity, and downloading speeds. Downloading speeds in Rwanda reach speeds of up to 2.53 megabytes per second. The mobile phone network covers almost the entire country. Prominent network providers like MTN is available in the country. Rwanda has high-speed 4G LTE wireless broadband. You can find internet cafes as well as Wi-Fi available in hotels, snack bars, airports, and restaurants. 4. Good Business Environment According to the World Bank Ease of Doing Business Report 2021, Rwanda ranks first as the most business-friendly nation in Africa and the 38th most business-friendly nation globally. 
This is due to the fact that Rwanda is one of the fastest growing economies in the world, and they have been able to attract foreign investment from far and wide. The country has been undergoing industrialization on a massive scale, and there has been an increase in private sector investments. Tax laws in the nation also favor businesses in the private sector. Another amazing thing about Rwanda is the fact that you can get your business registered in 48 hours. 3. Rapid Development The economy of Rwanda suffered heavily during the 1994 genocide and civil unrest. At that time, the average nominal per capita GDP was $127, as compared to that of today, which is $909.9. This is a testament to the growth Rwanda has witnessed in three decades. Rwanda is one of the top five most developed countries in the world since 2000. Over the past three decades, Rwanda has averaged growth rates of about 7.2% per year, while per capita GDP has grown by over 5% annually. This is very impressive for a country like Rwanda, which is blessed with very little natural resources. The economy of Rwanda is primarily powered by agriculture, but the real driving force behind its growth has been the industrialization of the economy. All around Rwanda, you can see significant progress in terms of infrastructure and the welfare of her citizens, all of which are indicators of economic development. Rwanda aims to become a middle-income country by 2035 and a high-income country by 2050. 2. The Umaganda Tradition The Umaganda is what we commonly refer to in other countries as cleanup campaign or community service, but in Rwanda, the Umaganda is a big deal. It has been in existence since 2009, and it is a national tradition which takes place on the last Saturday of every month from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., where every Rwandan is expected to come out for a cleanup campaign. Failure to take part in this exercise is punishable by law. Everybody participates in this tradition. Rwanda might be the only country in the world where you will actually see the president cleaning up the streets, and this is because of Umaganda. On the bright side, Umaganda has helped to significantly improve the cleanliness and sanitation of Rwanda. 1. Women's representation in government. Women account for about half of the world's population, but when it comes to politics and positions in government, Women occupy less than a quarter of positions globally. However, this is not the case with Rwanda. Currently, Rwanda holds the record for the highest representation of women in parliament. Over 61.3% of Rwanda's parliament is made up of women. Not only does Rwanda hold the record for the highest representation of women in parliament, they are also the first and the only country in the world to have a female majority representation in government. This is huge for Rwanda because even more developed and democratic societies in the world have not been able to achieve this. This is also a huge win for gender equality and an inspiration for other nations around the world. There you go, 20 interesting facts about Rwanda you may not have known. We hope this video has given you an idea about the lifestyle and culture of the people of Rwanda. Some of these facts, as we have seen, are unique to Rwanda alone. You've had the opportunity to see Rwanda from another perspective. Rwanda is setting a very good example for the rest of Africa and the world at large to follow. Do make sure you visit Rwanda. Thanks for watching this video to the end, and as always, please don't forget to subscribe and become a member of our family here at Think Rich Africa. Leave a like.